Hello, folks. I am going to start this right off the bat with guess what? We all have something <laughs> that doesn't work out. And I'm going to tell you so hard that we absolutely embrace that at the Ugly Art Club because I'm starting with a kick-ass card. I'm starting with a kick-ass prompt and I am failing miserably because... The whole point of blind contour is not to look at your page, and I wasn't looking and didn't realize I didn't have my pen down correctly. <laughs> and then it turns into kind of a crazy, crazy show. But um, that's what we love about the Ugly Art Club. It doesn't matter that it didn't work out because I tried and it, and it, you know, I showed up and I showed up for me. And I know that there are a few people struggling in the Facebook group um, with this prompt and don't. Don't let it get to you. It just just relax. Just ease into it. It's a it's a pretty new concept for a lot of people, um, especially like mixed media artists and um, you know, people who who aren't professional artists and I don't I don't mean that in any derogatory term. Just that um, blind contour is is really fun and and can be a great learning tool, but it doesn't work for everyone either. So blind contour is uh, is where you are not looking at your paper. You're looking at the subject matter and you're tracing the subject matter with your eye. And you're working on hand-eye coordination, and hopefully your hand is moving in the same style in the same direction and at the same speed um, that your eye is. So if your hand and your eye are coordinated, you, you can still draw what you're looking at um, without looking at your paper. And some people take it to such an extent that they'll cover the paper that they're working on, cover their hands, cover the table, um, so that they can't see what they're doing down under there. Uh, and it's a total sort of... Um, specific type of work and you really have to give it your all and it's something that takes a lot of practice and it's fun I think to introduce things like this that are very um, kind of specific techniques um, to the mixed media world just because the the overlap between mixed media and fine arts or crafts and visual arts or any sort of label you want to give it, um, some things don't translate over. They don't. There's not a reason for them to. So if this is a new to you technique, you might find you really, really love it. So give it a go. Um, and remember that that's what we do at the Ugly Art Club. We we kind of tease. We have bite-sized bits of information. We introduce you to new things. We introduce you to using old things in new ways, um, new techniques, old techniques, tutorials, tips, tricks, supplies, um, you know, any way you sort of want to look at it. We just dabble in everything, anything and everything. And um, you're welcome to join us because the doors are going to open in just a couple days. Just a couple days. It's so exciting. It's always exciting to see the influx of new faces and um, which old faces are returning, people that may have taken a break. So just be prepared. Um, just a couple days, open enrollment.